Hello everyone, welcome to another session of this textbook services. In the previous tutorial, we've explored some of the main QProxys parameters, how quickly to create proxies while retaining its modifiers and much more. As mentioned earlier, this plugin works with any rendering engine. In the second part series, we'll be showing you how to quickly create proxies of nearly 1GB file with a click of a button using amazing presets. So without further ado, let's start by checking the current size of this 3S Max file. As you can see, this file is 850 megabytes in size. This massive size is mostly because of the trees and cars in the scene. Before we begin proxying the trees and cars, let's select them first, followed by clicking on this button to isolate the selection. Let's maximize the top view. Some of these trees are instances as you can see here. To check how many faces and polygons are in this scene, let's click on this plus sign here and choose to configure the viewports. Go to the statistics tab, enable total plus selection, to show statistics in active view, apply and OK. As you can see here, the scene has almost 50 million polygons, which will slow down your computer and renders drastically. As previously shown, to find QProxys, simply Google the name and go to this website. In the website, we have the video tutorial with information about the plugin, other tutorials link and the script manual. Here we have a link to get the full version, the light version or the trial version. Once downloaded and unzipped, simply go to the scripting toolbar and choose to run script, followed by opening the script. The script dialog should pop up. To create a toolbar button of this script, simply watch my other spine dynamics tutorial. As you can see here, the minimum number of phases per object is set to 1000 and the maximum is set to 50 million phases. For more information about these parameters, simply watch the previous key proxy tutorial. Let's start by selecting all the trees first. While one of the trees is selected, hold down the control key and draw a rectangle selection by clicking and dragging it to select large clumps of the trees at once. Next, go to the presets pull down menu. Here, we have the presets to create proxies for rocks and trees, vehicles static, vehicles animated, vegetation, vegetation animated, sculptures and statues and animated characters. Let's choose the vegetation preset. As you can see, most of these parameters have been greyed out and the mesh type was automatically changed to convex hull type. The default mesh type was from source. To convert the selection to proxies, simply click the generate proxies button here. Click yes to generate proxies and yes to continue. It may take a few minutes. Here are the generated three proxies. Next, let's select the cars in the scene. Choose the vehicle static preset and click to generate proxies. The trees and cars have all been turned into proxies now and the isolation button automatically exited. Let's check how optimized the max file is now. As you can see here, the file went from 850 megabytes to 348 in a few minutes, which is amazing indeed. Here are the proxies in the viewport. As you can see, it's quite easy to navigate and much faster to render as well. I really hope you found this tutorial useful. Like, comment and share it. And I hope to see you on my next one.